Welcome back, trainers, and, well, it's happening. We're going to be getting Shadow Raids, and they're going to be starting it off with a bang, and that is going to be with Shiny Shadow Mewtwo. Now, there's been a few things that haven't been 100% confirmed, but I'm going to go out on a whim and just say what I think is going to occur. So, I think that the IVs are going to be Raid IVs. I mean, if they're literally horrible IVs, that's going to be a pretty big bummer and a bad move on their end. Okay, let's go ahead and go over there. It'll be going down May 22nd, the day after Community Day. Uh, and it is going to be going until May 28th. Alright, it's going to be pretty interesting stuff here. I already, I had a feeling. See, what were we talking about? They're gearing up for something. That's why they removed the remote raids. And <laughs> there might be a lot of Mewtwo's just sitting there at the end of the day. Uh, because apparently they're going to be one strong son of a gun. That you're gonna have to use. Uh, we'll, we'll get into it. Okay. So I did not know this. I wasn't. I didn't look over everything yet. So apparently, Shadow Mewtwo will be appearing in five star rates from only Saturday, May 27th until Saturday, May 28th. Um, damn. So go hard. Oh boy, that's crazy. So uh, I didn't. That's news to me. One day. Come on, man. What? What the frick? Are you serious? Shadow Mewtwo is only going to be here from May 27th until May 28th. Damn, man. Why do they do that crap? I know. Fear missing out. Remember we were talking about that? One of the greatest tools for us. All right. Now, taking a look at the following things here. Shadow Raids. We're going to have additional Shadow Raids. Yes. Uh, that will be appearing. And they're going to be from May 22nd until May 28th. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look here what we have for the one star raids. These are going to be Shadow Poliwag, Shadow Machamp, Shadow Bellsprout, and Shadow Beldum. So Shadow Beldum is definitely something you want. Shadow Mach Machop also. Actually, they're all pretty good. Technically, the best one is going to be Shadow Beldum because you want that massive damage with uh, Shadow Metagross. Now, another thing is they're probably going to have frustration, so you're going to have to wait to remove that when we do get an event. That'd be nice if they you know, included it for this freaking Team Rocket event while we're getting new shadows. Three-star raid shadows. Uh, Bayleaf, Quilava, Crocoyon, and Sneasel. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, I'd say the least one that you would probably want is going to be Crocoyon, and then you're going to probably want Quilava after that, then Sneasel and Bayleaf. Technically, Sneasel's probably one of the best ones as far as rating is concerned, as far as damage output when you do evolve it. All right, now taking a look at some more of raids here. These will not be appearing shadow. Uh, for one star, we have Clefairy, Tentacruel, Meryl, uh, Skrillip, and Popolo. For the three stars, we have Magneton, Lapras, Mawile. Come on, give us shadow Mawile raids. Uh, and Polion. five star raids, Regigigas will be appearing May 24th. So if you want that, that's shiny. Tapu Finn will be here as well for a little bit longer. Mega Pinsir and then Mega Altaria will be appearing in raids starting on May 24th at 10 a.m. Uh, so Mega Altaria, if you're looking for those that energy there. Uh, taking a look at the wild spawns for the Team Rocket event, we're going to be seeing Ekans, Golbat, Coughing. Like those Golbat spawns, extra Stardust for those evolutions in the wild when you do catch them. Houndoom, Poochiana, Stunky, and Skaroopy. Uh, so essentially everything can be shiny except for the Golbat and the Stunky in the wild for those things. Uh, some trainers might even encounter the following, Hisuian Quillfish or Scrafty. Alright, so that's not a bad lineup. Okay, can't complain. Bonuses, Team Go Rocket will appear more frequently at Pokestops and in Balloons. Okay, field research tasks are going to be, well, we're going to be able to get the uh, Master Ball soon, right? They're going to allow us to complete the rest of that and we're going to get the master ball and to that i have to say do not use your master ball on shadow mewtwo i mean hey you do what you gotta do all right but uh i don't think you should do that what if i encounter a hundred percent iv mewtwo poke um try to catch it with the regular balls and then in your last one use your master ball if you have to okay i guess it is the strongest thing in the game, technically, so yeah. Um, we're going to get new poses, and then the Mewtwo clothes is coming back. Personally, I already had those Mewtwo clothes from when they did release it. I do believe they released those Mewtwo clothes for the armor Mewtwo, if I'm not mistaken, right? And that's going to about wrap it up. And then, of course, we're going to be able to complete the field research tasks starting on... Uh, do -do 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 -do. 
Let's see here. Well, it says claim it by June 1st. All right, so make sure you claim that so you get your Master Ball. Uh, but it is going to be starting up uh, pretty soon here. So as far as this event is concerned, what is my... What's going on here? Now, there's a little bit more information to go over here. Actually, a lot more. Um, let's go ahead and see what we have going on here for the shards. Okay, so what's what's good with the shards? So apparently, these freaking raid bosses are going to become stronger. The the shadow ones. Stronger than the, what, what they already are. So they're going to be doing some massive damage. A side strike from Mewtwo, if you're not resisting it, steel or dark type, you're taking a... Uh, Talking like a lot of damn damage. Oh, man. That coffee. Mm, mm. Like I said, I drink my coffee like my skin color. Okay. So, um, no remote raids. Oh, folks. Don't you want it? Don't you love it? Okay. And uh, you will not be granted team bonuses for premiere balls. <laughs> the frick okay so no remote raids no bonuses for premiere balls with your friends <laughs> uh oh and also trainers you have to do it with your eyes closed upside down i'm joking <laughs> all right so what's with the uh purified gems we don't have a hundred percent idea but apparently these raid bosses are going to become stronger as you do go on as you do attack them and their health goes down so attack up and defense up on mewtwo Frick, that's all we need, right? That sounds like uh, nasty. So don't, I mean, you could try to duo it, but good luck when it starts getting stronger. All right, Mysterious Gem Piece, that may drop the uh, defense and attack. So apparently when you use these items, these shards, I don't know exactly what the Purified Gem is going to be. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. Maybe it's just going to be a stronger uh, Shadow Shard. But you are going to be able to... Uh, Reduce the damage and the defense of these things to kind of sort of calm them down. I don't know if you use them like like before you head into the battle, which would make sense. Or if you're going to uh, use them like during the battle. I don't know, in the lobby where you're waiting. Kind of like when we, when we can Mega Evolve now. So we'll have to see. It looks pretty crazy. And how we'll actually collect those, right? We don't have all the information because Niantic didn't release anything about the shards. They didn't say anything about the shards in their in their thing. The only thing we kind of know is kind of by the data mine here. Unless I'm completely mistaken and I'm just one, one big idiot who doesn't know what he's talking about here. Um, Alright, so this event is shaping up to be pretty good. Shiny Shadow Mewtwo. Now that is the prize right there, right? That is the prize. Now you don't have to worry about it running away if it's shiny. Unless they changed it for shadows. But whenever you do encounter a legendary in the raids or any shiny in the raids for that matter, you catch it on your first ball, and that's as simple as that. So, um, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I mean, I really got nothing to complain about. Now, what's with the remote raids? Why do they cut? Oh, they just, <laughs> you know what they could have just done if they're trying to make us get out and play more? Uh, just simply limit the shadow raids on how many you can do remotely. I mean, we could only do five, and yet we still can't remote raid these? Are you freaking kidding me? Come on, that's some bull crap. These are gonna be tough. What if there's nobody in your area? You one day? One day there's nobody in your area and you're gonna miss out on Shadow Mewtwo raids and you can't invite people. That's a little unfair. I can go start getting all nasty and mean about Niantic, but let's talk about it from a from somebody who's just playing by themselves. That sucks. That's called fear of missing out right there. And you, this is something you kind of want to do. Now, I personally reached out to somebody. I'm going to reach out to my Discord as well. And I offered to drive us around personally in my car, chauffeur us, so we can go and battle these Mewtwo raids. Fit probably five people comfortably, four nicely. Um, and uh, we'll just go out there and do that for the day and attack these Mewtwo's. Probably not all day. We'll probably do like a good maybe like 10 or something like that, see if we can get a good IV, or at least a shiny Shadow Mewtwo, that's the prize, that's what we want. IVs are great, but we'll just have to see. Um, as far as all this, it's looking pretty good, but as far as Niantic not allowing people to remote raid them, that seems pretty um, unfair and not nice. And 
excluding people that simply don't have others in their area simply be based off of that fact. They did nothing wrong. They want to play too. Come on. Is it only catered to the city folk? I mean, this is a little uh, unbalanced, I would say, unfortunately. So there you have it. Shadow raids, folks. They're, 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 they think they they think in their mind they're like, oh, we're gonna get them. Oh, we got them. Yeah, we got them with that shadow Mewtwo. We're gonna make them get back out there, and they're gonna love it. They're gonna say, what well, what are remote raids? That's what Niantic is thinking. We're thinking, what a remote shiny shadow Mewtwo. What a remote raids. I forgot. Like, <laughs> like nope. That's not gonna cut it, Niantic. Uh uh. So uh, yeah, there you have it. Looking pretty good. Get excited. Do not waste your Master Ball on Shadow Mewtwo. Do not do that, okay? And we're not going to get bonuses for Premier Balls for being with our friends. So you're going to be having minimal balls catching Shadow Mewtwo. So I see where they're doing. I see where they're going with this crap. All right, there you have it. Just wanted to bring you the news. I got some more juicy stuff, so make sure you do have notifications on. Make sure you hit that like button. Share this video if you want to. I never asked that, but if you want to share it, that would be fantastic to help me out here. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.